Hey everyone, welcome to this module using LifeRay DXP as a CMS. This is going to be for the Solutions Architect persona and we are in LifeRay DXP 7.3. Let's jump into it. So the key module takeaways to keep in mind, assets in LifeRay DXP take many forms and share a common asset framework. Metadata and folders can be used to organize assets and administrators can control user access to assets. If you're following along with our exercises, make sure you have the Java JDK installed to run LifeRay DXP. You can download that here from this Oracle link. Make sure that your exercise files are unzipped into the following folder structures. If you're on Windows, it'll be in your C slash LifeRay folder, or for your Unix systems, it will be user home slash LifeRay. You will also need an instance of LifeRay DXP or CE 7.3 up and running. The following page templates added to the global site of your LifeRay instance the hotel landing page, and the asset publisher page. Some other things, the luxury hotel location site template should be added to your LifeRay instance from control panel, sites, site templates, the special offers web content structure and template created on the Livingston Hotels and Resorts site, as well as the following structure set up in your LifeRay instance, Livingston Hotels and Resorts, the luxury hotel location site as the child site. As usual, we are using the use case of the Livingston Hotels and Resorts, it needs a system capable of handling the following tasks. We are looking at storing and organizing large volumes of documents containing both employee and customer data. We want to make sure that those are kept private. We're creating and sharing web content across various resort sites and want to set up the automatic publishing of new content. Great news is Life Radio XP is going to help us with all of this. The way we will track that success is with the following KPIs. We want to increase administrative control over content permissions improve the level of collaboration on content that is shared across sites, and we want to decrease time spent searching for specific pieces of content. So right off the bat, let's take a look at what are assets. Assets can refer to many different things. Here's an example of the different assets you can create and manage in Life Rate DXP. Web content, documents and media, blogs, wikis, message boards, forms, polls, and bookmarks, to name a few. It's basically all of the elements that we and our users can view and interact with. So there are so many different types of assets, but it's important to understand they're all unified under the asset framework. So this means that assets can be organized with folders and subfolders, and we can also assign metadata to them. Assets can be related to one another manually. We have the ability for every asset to undergo comments, replies, ratings, and flagging, and we have a fine-grained permissioning system that we can control. So let's take a look at page fragments and content pages. Page fragments are editable bits of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that can be used to build content pages. The differences between content pages and widget pages are, content pages are built by adding page fragments to a page and editing their text and images directly. Widget pages are built by dragging and dropping widgets to a page layout of columns and rows. So the main thing to take away from this is content pages are going to let us have a lot more editing capabilities. So we just talked about page fragments as being sort of the building blocks for content pages. So let's take a look at how we're actually making them. So fragments are made in the fragment editor. You can also upload HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to Life Rate DXP. And we can also repurpose completed sections of a page, turn those into fragments that we can use, that we can use on other pages as well. Fragments must be created as part of a collection. So since our fragments can take so many different shapes, it's important that we keep them in groups that we can manage. We have document types and metadata. Document types associate a set of custom metadata fields with files of a certain type. An example to think about is how maybe a PDF is different from a text document. Associating metadata with content improves content organization as well as SEO. And metadata sets can be used to add common metadata across multiple document types. All this is going to make our assets more searchable, easier for us to parse through. All right, time for a knowledge check. Assets are all the different content types in a site. The asset framework allows users to manage, organize, and present content effectively. Page fragments can be used to build content pages, and users can also create document types, which are groups of metadata that improve document organization and SEO.